This lesson is going to talk about customizing your color scheme on your website. As I mentioned earlier, I like to choose a simple template and that way I can go in and customize it as I choose. So with your website open, you would go to more and choose manage site. Go ahead and scroll down and you're going to choose colors and fonts and this is where it gets interesting. So I'm going to take you to a website to, to choose a color scheme so I could use those colors to complement my website. We're going to go ahead and start with Color Scheme Designer. There are several sites that talk about web colors and color schemes, but we'll use this one. Now I'm not claiming to be an artist. I just like would like to think that I have a good eye for attractive combinations. So if you like green, you can choose green and you can choose ver different variations of that color green by clicking on this wheel. You could also go to complementary colors, triad, and choose from this combination. I wouldn't encourage you to use all of those different colors on your website, but maybe just a few for parts of your website. So you could experiment and look at some of these color combinations. So I actually like this. I'm going to make mine predominantly green and maybe choose one of these darker shades of purple. So if you scroll over you can get the number, the color number. So I'm going to use this for the background color. You're going to want to go ahead and write that down. You might have, need a pencil at hand unless there's a better way to grab that number. I don't know what it is. So I'll be right back after I write that number down. So after writing down the numbers, I just picked a few colors. I'm going to return to the site and I'm going to go ahead for the page under, you can look at all the different possible, possible things that you can change here. So I'm going to click on page background color, choose custom, and I'm going to go ahead and type in that number. As you can see, after I typed in that number, it appeared as the background of my website. You could even add a, back, a page background image, but I always like to tell my students, unless you know what you're doing, avoid using images because they tile and it tends to look really unprofessional. If you do choose to use a background, there are sites out there that if you choose to use their backgrounds, they actually tile nicely. So I was going with a green color scheme. This is the only dilemma is that green might not complement my website. The other dilemma is, I mean, I could take this into Photoshop and manipulate it so it complements my color scheme. But let me just show you how this works if you choose to use a background image. So say, for example, I'm, I'm going to actually try and get that color scheme right next to this. So maybe I'll drag this down. You can see the greens I'm using and I don't know that these will actually be complementary. So let's say for example I choose this one. I'm going to click on it. See that's really not going to look good. Let me just go ahead and experiment. So you click on the image to see what it would tile like. and That's the bigger image below. So if you choose to use that you would right click on the square and choose save picture as or save image as. Now I recommend that you create, if you haven't already you should really create a folder, and I should have mentioned that earlier, you should create a folder that will contain all the images and resources you're going to need for this project. So let me go ahead and create that new folder, and I'll go ahead and type in Google Site maybe. I'll open that up, and I'll save this as green background. And I'll show you how this works. Now I'm probably not going to use it, I just want you to see how this is modeled for this project. With the background image saved, I'll return to Google Sites. I will go ahead and choose on Page Background Image. I will browse for that image and I saved it on, in this case I saved it on the desktop. I will locate that folder called Google Site and I'll go ahead and select that and you can see how it is part of the background scheme. So that's a possibility. So now when I scroll down you can really experiment with these. That's what I highly recommend you do. So if you choose that you don't want the background image, go ahead and click on that background image and then say use, def use theme default value. I'll scroll down and do site header. That's where the banner is going to be. And I'm going to choose site header background color, choose custom, and I'll type in that number. So that was one of the colors from the color scheme. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. Now don't worry about changing the text where it says sample class site or whatever you have because we're going to design a customized banner to go in there. So I'm going down to the content area. 
that's where most of your writing is going to be and you want to choose a light color because the best combination really is black text on white but a lot of people don't want to go with the white so I'm going to pick a complementary color that is light so I'll go to content background color choose custom and then type in that number from that website so those are from the color scheme from that website you can keep going down and experimenting in the sections the sidebar gadget if you scroll down that's where it's blue on top of home in that area that's where you can change that color scheme as well so let's go ahead I'm going to choose a color sidebar gadget background color so if, if you're not sure what what it is you can click on custom and just choose a random color to see what's painted so to speak and then of course you would then change that color whatever is changed or go back to use theme default value so you really want to experiment the only way you're gonna really learn this is if you play with it so I just changed the site where it says sitemap so when you start putting your links over on the left hand section right under home I changed it to the the color green so let me show you how that looks so if I change it to yellow notice how it changes I can change it to pink see how it keeps changing down below but I'm gonna go ahead and put back that green color because it's that's the same that complements my color scheme so I'm gonna to continue to explore and experiment just like I would like you to do one thing I did want to point out if you want to set the font because you do want a consistent font scheme throughout all of your web pages so I chose content title font custom and I'm gonna choose Georgia okay then you can also change the font size I'll show you how that looks obviously you might not choose 18 maybe for the title the home I might set to 16 and then the content font size I would set to 12 that's where you have like if you have a story it will be set to 12 for the life of me I have experimented with so many of these um, to figure out how to change that blue I was going to change the blue where the home is in the navigation to the shade of green where home is and I just could not figure it out so if you figure it out it's worth a few extra credit points so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna to return to my class Do you see what it says sample class so I'm gonna go back to the website so you can see what that looks like so you won't appreciate what this is gonna look, look like until you add an interesting banner the next lesson is gonna talk about adding a customized banner until next time you have a wonderful day.